Hello, Internet! Praise be to God and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64. So, we are now officially married, as you can see. And one thing that happened off screen that I did not show, mainly because it kind of ruined the mood of spending your night with your wife, the earthquake happened last night. Basically, after I went to sleep, it, like, there was a slight, like, that happened. That means the earthquake happened. So when I go to the greenhouse, some of my crops will be destroyed, and that also means that the carpenters will have a project for us soon. Anywho, welcome back to winter. Hello, I created up with the eggs. Okay, so this is one thing that your wife will do. If your wife's at a high enough affection level, she'll start helping her out around the farm. So Maria just picked up all the chicken's eggs and put them in the crate for me, which, while it's kind of nice, also means that I can't feed my dog today unless I go fishing. Well, what am I going to do? Well, you can do whatever you want. You can work on the library still, I'm cool with that. That's my last cabbage. Here you go, sweetie. Thank you very much. I like cabbage very much. Again, Maria, you, you can absolutely do whatever you want. Also, today is the Thanksgiving festival, unless I'm mistaken, so... That'll be cool. So as you can see, my chickens have no eggs underneath them. That's because Maria already took care of that for me. Thank you very much. So, th depending on who you marry, they'll do different things around the farm. So, Maria, and uh, she can cr uh, crate the eggs for you. She can also pull the weeds for you, which is really nice in the other years, but that can't actually happen in winter right now. Uh, Ellie can crate the eggs. She can also feed the chickens. And when your wife feeds the chickens, it doesn't deplete your chicken feed bag, which is awesome. So yeah, you can see several of my crops have been removed. That's the earthquake's work. So it's a good thing that it was potatoes and not something more valuable. But this means I can start growing my permanent crops in the greenhouse. That'll be awesome. But yeah, when your wife uh, feeds the chickens, it doesn't deplete your chicken feed bag. So it's basically like, hey, cool, you fed your chickens for free today. Sweet. Um, let's see, Poppery can water some of the plants for you, but I don't think she does that in the greenhouse. I think that's a purely a on-your-farm kind of thing. Anne can feed the chickens and create the eggs, I think. And then Karen will only create the eggs, and occasionally she'll say she drops one, but you still get paid for it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I think Maria's the most helpful, because picking the weeds is just time-consuming. In-game time-consuming. So one thing that I also did off-screen, I bought some seeds. So I have one eggplant seed, I have three t uh, corn seeds, and I have two bags of tomato seeds. So here's how I'm going to do it. Eggplant will go here. Tomatoes will go here. And here. And then the corn is going to go here, here, and there. Now I think I gotta go fishing today. I've been fishing a lot lately because it's really the only way that I can actually get stuff for my dog to eat when my wife crates the eggs, because normally I'd just give him an egg, but it's clearly not going to happen. Oh, shoot. Well, it's only noon. I need to buy another cow. Well, actually, wait a second. I think I'll hold off on the cow, actually. Because I should make sure I have enough money in time for the dog race. And it's the Thanksgiving festival. It's not like an official festival. You basically just go around and talk to people. I did not mean to do that. I am very sorry about that. I like Lilia. Hi, Poppery. You did good this year. Let's try our best next year, too. Hey, Mayor. Today is the Thanksgiving Festival. Try these cakes for my wife and Maria. You didn't give me anything. And Maria lives with me, dude. How did you get cakes? Hey, Rick. Oh, I had a music box? Oh, I actually did not realize that. Well, shucks. Mayor's wife should be in her house. 
Nope, they just left their house unlocked with nobody in it. And yet they insisted on walking it any time I wanted to visit Maria when she was sick. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. Uh, if you talk to the mayor's wife today, she'll tell you that Maria's birthday is tomorrow. Which is good to know. Because that's the only way you can find out Maria's birthday. And if you marry her, you need to know when her birthday is, otherwise she'll get mad at you. Today's a cleaning day. I get depressed when the house is dirty. Well, I haven't cleaned at all. Like, period. So... Good luck with that, honey. <laughs> so, normally what you're supposed to do is... Actually, wait. You might just have to hang out at your farm to make... I think when you're single, if you hang out at your farm, the girls will come and give you cakes if they're at a high enough affection level. But if you're married, you just go to your house uh, once it becomes dark. This is alternate shipment, right? I'm taking it, okay? That's good. Whereas today... We're married, so we can go in our house once it's dark. And we'll go to the kitchen. Hey! Here you go. A vegetable cake. Very healthy. That definitely does not look like a vegetable uh, cake. Do they ask for a cake or a vegetable loaf? <laughs> I'm reminded immediately of the Parks and Rec scene. How was it? Am I getting any better? You're, you, you're great. You are great. Smooch. Maria's one of the better chefs in the game, actually. Ellie's the best, obviously, because she works at the bakery. Anna's the worst. I think Karen is second worst. It, let me in. And then I think Poppery is kind of in the middle. I wonder, can I even give the music boxes to girls now? Now that I'm married? I'm not sure. In the N64 version, like, if you're actually playing on the N64, you can tell when it turns 9 o'clock because the ground will kind of start to change texture a little bit. On the emulator, though, it actually doesn't change. So you just kind of have to guesstimate. Good night, honey. Hello. Oh, what a pretty music box. It has a wonderful sound, very soothing. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not for you. Yes, what is it? Okay, that answers my question. Get over here, dog. Hey! Hey, the earthquake opened a hot water source in the mountains. We're thinking of building a hot spring. Want to lend a hand if you're not busy? We're starting tomorrow. We'll pay for your time. Please help, we're short of hands. So that's the other carpenter pro uh, project you can do in addition to the bridge. This one's more important to work on because you actually get a photo if you do. And that's the importance of the earthquake. That is also is what is going to cause the stumps on the top of Moon Mountain to disappear. Because they will use those stumps to and build a hot spring over them. Our potatoes have grown! Cool! This is going to take a while. Sometime later, we've got a potato for our dog. And I'm going to get filthy stinking rich overnight because of all the potatoes I have sold. So today, we are going to plant some strawberries. Because you can only buy strawberries in winter, and because they sell for a ton of money, it is the perfect opportunity to plant them now. It's not too late! What? A music box? Wow, cute! What a beautiful melody! It's yours. For me, really? Thank you, I'll take special care of it. See ya, keep up the good work. Still to Greenheart. Hey, Ellie. I'd love to get fresh milk and eggs. Yes, I know this. This town, it's nothing special, but I love it here. I'm so lucky to have been born and raised here. I met you, and then your grandfather, too. Well, that's very sweet, Ellie's grandma. Oh, man, I gotta know. Yep, we're all, I made like 10,000 gold today. I really hope the strawberries grow in time for the dog race. Hello. After all, laundry should be hung out to dry in the sun. G yeah, good Good morning to you, too. And hey, 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 we've got eggs today, because Maria didn't crate them up. Am I the only one that is fascinated that a wrinkle on the time-space continuum happens every time you enter a building, just so time slows down? And by that I mean time stops? It's great. There you are, I've been waiting. Work ends at free, will you help? Heck yeah, thanks, it's a really big help. 
hit a wedge in here. I left my hammer at home. Also, I'm already gross and tired and sweating because I just spent the whole morning watering my crops. They don't seem to mind. Good work. Here's your pay. It would help if you came tomorrow, too. Well, let's rest for now. Doop -a -herp -a -derp. I don't know if that actually lowers your uh, stamina at all. Also, I got paid a thousand for that. That's nice. Just by working here, I'll probably get enough for the dog rates. Alright, that's a good haul. I caught four fish. Three of them are large in the span of about two hours. In-game hours, that is. <laughs> I just noticed a little programming bug. There's a one pixel wide crease between the bathroom, or between the toilet and the bath. That would drive me crazy if I was the programmer. <laughs> Then again, a lot of things in this game would drive me crazy if I was the programmer. But I'd also be immensely proud. You're not running off again, horse. My horse has run off and disappeared way too many times. I'm not even letting him out of my sight anymore. Oh, everything's starting to grow now. Strawberries, corn, everything. Typical old day. Gonna work at the mountain again, and then I'm gonna go fishing again in the ocean. Yeah, this is going to be such a boring day, because this is literally what I'm going to do every single day. I'm going to work for the carpenters, I'm going to go fishing, and I'm going to do my chores. And that's, like, it. Okay, do you mind? I'm trying to fish, Karen. Come on, this is my spot. It's Sunday, so Karen will always be at the beach if it's Sunday. At least I think it's Sunday. Wait, no, that can't be right. That means I've been married for a week. I just realized. Two days ago, it was Maria's birthday, but she didn't do the special thing. Unless I missed it. Oh, don't. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go back in editing. That might have been the one day I didn't go in the... No, I think I went in the kitchen every day. I don't know. I'll look at it in editing. Smooch. I plan to go out today. I'll try to come home early. No! No! Spend the day out! I don't, I'm fine with that. You are allowed to have a life, sweetie. <laughs> I feel like Huey, Dewey, and Louie from that Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas short stuck on Christmas, where it's like, they have to live the same Christmas over and over and over again. And at first it's like, they're like, yeah, this is great! And then they're like, this is the worst. And they can like perfectly predict everything that's going to happen. That's what I feel like. It's just so monotonous. I knew this there would come a point when my Harvestman 64 Let's Play would get very boring, and I would be cutting out almost all the footage. And to be honest, I went quite a while before I had to cut out all the footage. <laughs> it's just the problem. Normally that would be cool, because it would mean, oh, hey, it's more interesting if Artie cuts out most of the footage so you only show the really cool parts, and the Let's Play goes by really fast, except I have to record everything. Everything. Every single time I brush my cows. Every single crop I water. Everything. I have to record it and play it over and over and over again. <laughs> and yet, I'm still having more fun. There you are! We've been waiting again! Yeah, I'm helping. I love being helpful. Hit a wedge in here! I feel like I've done this the last two days in a row. I mean, getting serious deja vu. I feel like I'm gonna have to end this episode after I'm tired of playing then play again just to get enough footage for one episode. Oh hey, my strawberries are almost fully grown. Sweet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six little rabbits. That's a Beatrix Potter reference. Hats off to everybody who remembers Beatrix Potter and how awesome her stories were. Also, the animated adaption of the story is incredibly impressive. The hand, like the watercolor slash hand drawn uh, animation, the music, voice actors and actresses, it's all just fantastic. But I remember the good old days of old PBS with Arthur, Pre-Seasons 8, uh, Magic School Bus, you had Liberty's Kids, Cyber Chase, 
Clifford, the Big Red Dog. Those were those were the shows, and, and Dragon Tales. That was my jam when I was like four. Unfortunately, Dragon Tales is one of those PBS shows where I can't really watch now because it doesn't really appeal to adults at all. But Arthur is still fit. Well, the old episodes of Arthur are still fantastic. The new ones, like they aren't bad, but they're nowhere near as good. Here, good work. Here's your pay. It would help if you came tomorrow too. Well, let's rest. All right. And I don't like that they ch went to flash animation. That's I think was a bad move on the uh, PBS's part or whoever owns Arthur. And also, it's like, oh yeah, I, I guess Arthur's still in it. I know for a while, like Lance Armstrong was like a main character until the scandal happened, and then they're like, oh, we can't show any of those episodes anymore. Well, what am I going to do? You're gonna watch my Let's Play videos. I got a lot of them. It's getting very, very cold. Please eat so you don't catch a cold. Ellie, aww. That's very sweet of her. Fast, cheap, sturdy for home extension. Call the Mountain Carpenters, and I get all my spam in one day. Noise. That's nice, with an O. Okay, I can, like, predict when I'm going to sweat exactly. As well as when I'm going to run out of water for the watering can. <coughs> Honestly, at this point, like, I'll know when to stop recording, not when my voice starts going, but when the headset starts getting uncomfortable on my head. Is this going to be the last day? Hit a wedge in here! It looks like we've made no progress at all. Come on. Oh, it's done! Okay, it's done. Here's your pay. Hey, let's be the first ones in the hot spring. Hot springs are best when you're tired. It's essentially just like a bath. Like, exactly like the bath. Hey, dude. Uh, dude, you always tell me the, to get, do get down when I talk to you. But yep, this is the hot spring. It's literally exactly like the bath. Hey, Cliff. I'm not good with people, especially girls. Most people don't seem to care much about me here. It's okay, bud. I care. <laughs> Luke from episode four. I care. <laughs> yeah, might as well. All sweet. We basically have 30,000 for the dog race, and we still have two more days. I think my strawberries are even gonna grow before then. Ah, I still remember back in the at the beginning of this Let's Play when I showed off every minute, so I only got for like two days in the first video. Oh shoot, I need to go home to my wife. <laughs> also, if I'm really good friends with Jeff, I can see a Ellie Poppery scene in the hot tubs, which I have never seen and I can't find video footage of, but people swear that it exists. I well, I think my horse is loving the attention he's getting. Hello, is it cold there? I'll visit your farm again in the spring. Father at the Florist. He signed his name Father at Florist instead of Basil. Okay. We'll send you a souvenir, picture, and look forward to your actions in the future. The hot spring has been completed. Refresh your body and mind. So I just got a photo for completing the hot spring. Let's take a look! Hey, sweetie, you want to know what I've been doing lately? I was doing this! Celebrating the completion of the hot springs. <laughs> oh, that's a great photo. And that's still my favorite, though. That's so cute. Of course, that one's also adorable. Man, I love I love the, the Photoshop this guy did to make these photos look extra cool. Not so much the Photoshopping job on that one, but, you know. Feed the dog top in the bag. Oh, yes! Those are the strawberries. They just grew. These are the eggplant. They just grew. Eggplant first. Oh, man. I'm gonna be seriously rich. I have no cabbage seeds. I'd better go fix that. Also, I have free strawberries in my possession to give away at my leisure. I will give them to free different girls. Well, actually, 
one of them's not a girl, and one of them, Karen, I don't think I can even see today. So, hey, Poppery, got a strawberry for you. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I'm happy. Let me teach you how to make delicious jam. It's way better than jam you can buy. And we get the strawberry jam recipe. You did good to this year. Let's try our best next year, too. All right, cool, cool, later. Now we go in here. Hey, Stu, I got a strawberry. Wow, thanks. In return, I'm going to give you this. Grandpa gave it to me. And we get the strawberry dog recipe, whatever that is. Is it like a strawberry hot dog? If so, that is gross. I help make the connections between people. I like my job very much. I'm, I'm glad. What could be better than a job you love? I would like a cow, please. Cliff's at the beach. I don't like the cold. It's tough. I agree, Cliff. Karen is at the beach! Hey, Karen, I've got a strawberry for you. Thank you! You can make a good cocktail with this. Let me teach you. And we got the strawberry champagne recipe. Ooh la la. Yes, I'm sorry about your parents' marital problems. But that's not going to change the fact that I am going to fish here. Keep it in a shack, name if a word and care for it. Where's the beef? The <laughs> beef is at my farm. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. But also hilarious. Is it bad form to say you're hilarious? I'm planting cabbage because Maria needs presents. And because they take a while to grow, so I won't have to make frequent harvests. I bought 13 because that's exactly the amount we need to cover these outer plots. How much money did I made? <laughs> Keep in mind, this is after I spent a lot on a cow and chicken feed and new seeds. I still got, like, 20,000 for one set of strawberry seeds to har that I harvested. Beautiful. Hey! And I got three new recipes. To all you naysayers out there, quit horsing around. This is a great game. <laughs> all right, that's going to do it for this episode of Harvest Moon 64, because even if there's hardly any footage, I'm still tired of playing this game. Hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless. The rain has moved on and left a new Nothing seems to move, everything is still It's just a pool